The next card is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is the Taurus card. Taurus. Who doesn't understand the Taurus? And this card, the Hierophant, it, that is all about rules and regulations and doing it a certain way and having things carved out. You know, this is the law. This is the rule. This is sacredness. This is how it must be. And when we look at the Hierophant, this brings in a more religious content or it doesn't necessarily mean like Catholic religion, but it could be a sort of like a, um, a religious way of doing things. You know what I mean? So this is someone who has Taurus, if you think about it, does have standards and you've got to fit inside them. Uh, otherwise, you're going to hear about it, <laughs> you know, um, and, but they are they can, they can unlock doors for you and, and give you keys to uh, the kingdom, so to speak. So, you know, this is that this energy, though, can be very staunch, very stifling, at least for a person like me. So this represents weddings or licenses and um, policies. And those types of things could be uh, in here, especially around like weddings are, are, are government official. Right. But it's religious as well. So this is the kind of stuff that's in this card. So when you think of a Taurus, you want to think of, you know, they 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 have rules. Do you know a Taurus who doesn't have rules? I don't. <laughs> they have rules. Am I right? When we speak of the Taurus in reverse, this energy, this Hierophant in reverse represents, so here it represents weddings and legal things, licenses and doing things, education, this type of thing. Um, in reverse, it is unorthodox as opposed to orthodox. Orthodox, unorthodox. So you're going to find Tauruses that are really, you know, staunch, and then there's the other ones that are not, right? And and usually they have anger issues, though. Uh, quite a bit of anger issues there. And they maybe they're more in control than they ever should be, you know what I mean? 